The O'Reilly Factor, the number one cable news show for 15 years and counting. Thanks for staying with us and Bill O'Reilly in the personal story segment tonight. As you heard earlier when I talked with Donald Trump, the stock market is in terrible shape. And illegal immigration continues to drive Mr. Trump's campaign. And joining us now from Washington, Charles Kratammer is following both stories. Now, do you think the stock market and the soft economy in general in the USA will hurt the Democrats in the upcoming presidential election? Look, if it stops where it is now, it'll have no effect whatsoever. If it continues into a crash, something like 2008, then of course it will. I mean, you know, in 2008, <laughs> the crash happened six weeks before an election, and the Republicans had no chance of winning no matter who was on the ticket. Now, this is still a year and a half away, almost a year and a half away of the election. So if it continues, then, then what happens is you get a negative wealth effect. The wealth effect is when the market is rising. You feel richer, you go out and spend, the, and the economy expands. And the reverse is true. If your stocks are getting really hit, you've got your 401k, you feel a little bit more tentative. And that could have an effect of putting us into a recession. If that happens, it will, have, it will certainly hurt the Democrats. The economy is already weak, slowest recovery since the Second World War, and that would be devastating. But that's only if this is a slide that will continue way down the chute. You know, and it's impossible to predict that. Anybody who says they know is lying. Um, but it is, it, you know, look, China is in economic trouble. There's no doubt about it. And Trump is exploiting that in, in a way that is fairly effective, in my opinion, by saying, listen, these people, uh, they've been jobbing us for a long time. And, you know, they devalue their currency, and that ripples down, and now it's going to hurt us again. And they're holding all of this debt, and they have much too much power and sway over how we live here in America. I mean, it's a powerful message that he's putting out, is it not? He is, but look, if the argument is that China is so smart, they've been stealing everything out of our pockets, then how come their economy is collapsing? The reason the world economies, the world markets, are sliding is because China was the engine. It was scooping up all the raw materials. That's why commodity prices, including oil and mining stocks, they were all very high. If China's in collapse, which is the reason it's devaluing, which is the reason its market is collapsing, which is the reason everybody's afraid because the Chinese have no idea what to do, that's the reason that the world economy is sliding. The engine has, has been taken away, and the U.S. has a relatively weak economy, so it can't substitute as the world economy's engine. Right. If they're so smart, why are they collapsing? Well, I think that the, there's a difference between sh being shrewd and smart. And, and that was what I would say, that they were shrewd in a way that they made the deals with the USA because it benefited them and not us. But can they manage an economy in communistic terms for 1.5 billion people? No, they cannot. And that's what you're well, seeing. Well, their now. bottom line is that it ain't working for them. That's right. All right, so illegal immigration. Now we're into a very emotional issue um, that uh, is being fueled by anger. And there are points that we are not a secure country. Our southern border does not work, hasn't since Ronald Reagan, and um, something's got to be done. Something drastic's got to be done. Do you disagree with that? Not at all. In 2006, I advocated for a wall. I've been advocating that for a decade. And the reason is we have to stop the flow at the southern frontier. Now, if you do that, and don't tell me walls don't work. They work in certainly Israel has constructed a wall that works, as we heard just earlier. There are walls being constructed all over Europe to stop illegal immigration. Right. Of course, walls work, and that would be what you want to do. Now, once you have reduced the river of illegal immigrants to a trickle, which can be done if you're serious about it, if you have a government that wants to actually do that, and will do what's needed at that point, you've got to ask yourself, what do you do with the 11 million illegal immigrants living here? And I thought you nailed it with your questions. Remember Elian Gonzalez, the little Cuban kid yeah, who was in the closet, torn right? out of the hands of his relatives at gunpoint by the Clinton administration and shipped home? to Cuba, is that we, do we want to see that scene repeated a million times in the United States? It's not just that it's expensive, it's not just that it's never going to work, that it's a fantasy. It is deeply offensive, you know it, 
I know it. The large majority of Americans wouldn't do it. If you do build a wall, you do stop the illegal immigration flow, you reduce it to a trickle. At that point, I think Americans are going to want to say, okay, if this is the last millions who come in, we're not going to have this anymore, then let's legalize the ones but we who are have to here take, uh, we in have a to do that. way. We have to do that and make it difficult for the people who did violate our immigration law to, they have to do certain things. It has to be done very methodically. And, and it can't be just go, do what you want. Of course, and everybody agrees. You have all kinds right. of requirements, English, penalties, etc. Right. All right, Charles. But mass deportation, you know that that's not right. Well, the courts wouldn't allow it. And I think it. the vast majority of Americans know it. Right. The courts wouldn't allow it. They'd say everybody has to do process, and that would just throw everything into chaos. Even if it would be allowed, it would be wrong. Okay, but it won't be. Charles, thank you. Waters on deck. Do the supporters of Bernie Sanders really know anything about the man? We sent Waters to New Hampshire to find out. Up next.